Hello, uh, my name is Bex Cartwright. I'm a conservation officer for the Bumblebee Conservation Trust. I'm here today at Quex Park in Birchington to lead a group of volunteers for the Wild About Gardens scheme, which is a Kent Wildlife Trust scheme, in a course about solitary bees. So we're here learning all about the ecology and the identification of, of solitary bees. So the males often you see because they patrol and lek almost flying up and down around hedges or shrubs and often it's the females that are a little trickier to find. Sometimes you get um, solitary bee males patrolling on hedgerows like this. One of the nomad cuckoo bees, yeah, that's it. Some species really like really loose, friable sand with no vegetation at all and then it goes along a gradient of until you're getting species which will quite happily nest in grassy areas like this. But again, it's still quite short. There's a beautiful big red-tailed bumblebee queen. They do nest underground, yeah. not in a cavity that they create themselves. They tend to use a cavity that has already had something else living in it. It tends to be a mammal, like a vole or a mouse or something like that, yeah, because they can't collect their own nesting material, so they need some insulation and some nesting material already in there. Don't forget when you're out and about in the countryside on your walk or walking around your gardens to keep an eye out for these amazing little beasts that you get in your garden, solitary bees.